Welcome back. Today we will talk about Open EMR system. It means uh, Open Source Electronic Medical Record System. Uh, it's a very commonly used system for electronic medical records management, uh, fully web based. It means it's a very easy to manage and operate uh, system to roll it up on any computers and it's very easy to use in your daily practice. So if you follow this link you can navigate to the user guide to the appropriate version of our system open EMR software. And if you follow this link you can see uh, online demo version uh, just uh, to play with. Uh, first of all, we just for demonstration uh, can log in as administrator. Uh, login is admin. And passport, password is pass. As you can see, uh, there is a very rich uh, feature interface, but very easy to use. First of all, we can switch down a mode of our calendar to the week, and we can study this. We can play with this option, all of this. First of all, we can learn how to manage facilities. In another word, it's a clinics or ambulatories you have. Navigate to the administration main menu and use this option, facilities. And you can see a list of existed facilities and you can create your own one like this. We can fill all of these uh, fields, but primary necessary one. Uh, name of our clinic, just for example. Clinic 1 and must have option and color of the label. And we can fill another uh, field, but just create save just for demonstration. As a result, we can see our clinic appeared here. So next move, we can create new user. We can learn how to manage open EMR users and we have to create new one with an administrator rights. Ok, navigate to administration, users and we can see a list of existed one and we can create another one and fill required fields for example username as a login user1 user first name and user last name just for demonstration user last name uh, and uh, password for the uh, this for this login for example uh, one two three four five it doesn't matter and Verify and uh, current user password Admis with administration rights. It was passes pass and uh, give this user with this login and administrator rights and click save. 
after that after that we can log out as administrator and log in as new created user log out as current administrator and log in as a user new created one user one password one two three four five like this and click enter to log we can switch our calendar to the week mode like this another step we can learn how to manage the patient records search it and create of existed one and create new one navigate the same path to the administration pa uh, navigate to the patients patients and we can see existed patients we can create new one as well and in a case uh, we have a huge amount of patients we have uh, divided all of that for the few uh, sublists and we can search by a name or last name like this and search something or we can create new one add another one and we can fill required fields for example Mr. Patient for example Mr. Patient patient one without mid name last name is patient one two uh, we can specify and sex for email for example mail and re another required field is a date of born just for example nineteen ninety January first just for example we can add another options using checkbox to these checkboxes to appear and or just left uh, basic parameters and create our new patient and confirm our creation, our movement, and prove it for the web request. So, as you can see, uh, patient electronic record appeared. We can specify some uh, photo cards, some body parameters, and so on. and we can add many options to this record next move we can uh, learn how to work with appointments and the calendar with appointments we can add new appointment right here as you remember patient patients we can navigate to whole list of our patients existed and we can find it here or just click on existed create one it's our current patient new created and we can add appointment right here add new one and we can see a form with uh, some fields required for example we can choose from the drop down menu the category of visit for example office visit we can specify a date calendar date of the calendar and we can specify a time just for example specify some hours and duration of our visit for example uh, half of hour we can select uh, clinics from existed 
and make a title just to, for example my visit it's just for example we can specify some options some extra option repeat repeat for some specific uh, days of week and so on we can just click save and validate our request for web system and we can see this appointment in our calendar we can navigate to the calendar attach to this patient or just click here to edit cancel navigate to the calendar and we can see or we can navigate to the general calendar and we can see some appointment as you can see we exceed uh, working time we can back to our patient and switch to the for example 5 p.m. and for the next day like this and click save and click OK and close this patient and navigate to the calendar and switch to the week mode Tuesday 22 as you can see this appointment is a period we can click here and manage it according to the patient attached to so next move we can learn how to work with encounters with the visits of our patient we can uh, select our existed patient navigate to the patient patients find it by name or just click for record and navigate to the patient visits and create a visit select a category for example official office visit or established or something else for example for example office visit we can select another option we can just specify and data we can choose facility and some description and use another option for example add issue and so on and click save and we can see it and we can manage it as easy for example patient patients select appropriate your patient and show and visits for example current or history for example show current visit we can delete it as easy and next move we can learn how to work with advanced patient information like immunization, medication, allergies and so on. We can uh, navigate to the our patient record and right here we can specify advanced additional options. For example, allergies. We can attach some information about this add new one and specify the type of allergy for example allergy for codeine and so on and click save and as you can see an alarm red corner record 
will be popped out when we click on our patient. As you can see, codeine allergies and so on. We can edit uh, advanced information as well. So that's all. As you can see, OpenEMR is a very useful uh, system, open source, and you can use it in your daily practice royalty free. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.